Alright, so this game is Reus. Reus? Reus? I don't know. The pronunciation, the name is uh, R-E-U-S. And uh, let's see if I can help you to uh, play this game. So, understanding it is... This game's a little bit different. When we look at, at starting a new game, there's a time limit. Or you can choose a time limit of 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 120 minutes. And there are different game modes, but generally the game mode you will want to play if you want to unlock the achievements is the error game mode. The beginning actually is the tutorial, and three different tutorials for you to go through, which I do recommend uh, playing. But I'm going to cover some of the things that are covered in the tutorial too. There's of course also the free play mode where you can play with everything without having to unlock it, but that's not really what the game is. So. Uh, Ideally, when you first start the game, you're going to start with the error game mode and just 30 minutes time limit. If you just started the game, actually 60 and 120 minutes won't even be unlocked. They won't be available for you to use. And I'll show you why that is. So if we just start a new game here with this, we get the loading screen. Get some nice tooltips and some uh, <laughs> interesting loading screen art. And then we can press any key to start or even just click. So actually the first thing you get here is uh, some of the achievements that you haven't yet unlocked. Something for you to aim for. And whenever you unlock an achievement like one of these, actually you also unlock something to use in the game. Something like an upgrade for one of the plants or minerals or animal patches that you place down. So to advance in this game, what you want to do really is look at these achievements and there are pages and pages of them and then maybe just pick one that you want to do. If you're just starting the game, pick one. Try and do it. See if you can. There are a lot of easy projects to help you get started. Or pick two or three, you know, if they coincide or they have similar requirements, you might be able to pull that off too. For example, this one here, finish an era with a village which has 250 village prosperity and only uses plants. So I think I can probably do that, but from what I know of the game, really for plants, plants are only going to make you either food or technology. To get the best use out of plants using food, I would use a forest biome or forest village, and for plants using technology, I would use a swamp village. But let's see if I can just try and do this one, or oh, I'll try to follow this achievement during this video just to give some kind of direction to the video as I go over things and explain what they do, why I do it, and so on and so forth. So here we go. If you play the tutorial, you know who these guys are. We have Big Rock Boy, Big Ocean Boy, Swamp Boy, and Forest Man. Why is he not a boy? I don't know. That's just his name. It's Forest Man. So the the whole planet actually is, if we click on this patch of ground here, is it's just dry wasteland. And if I want to make a forest, actually first I need wet wasteland, and that's only created after we first create an ocean. So we can actually terraform the the whole world using these four guys, and they each are able to create their own kind of biome. Of course Forest Man makes forest, and Water Boy makes water, as you can see. Swamp Boy makes swamp, and Rock Man, Rock Man, Rock Boy, he actually makes mountains, but what the mountains do is that either side of the mountain, uh, if there isn't any water, they will create desert for about 14 patches of land, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 14, it will change to desert if we make a mountain. I just want to make, uh, let's just make a forest for this video, okay, so click on my guy and I can right click to move him or I can click on the small icons down here. Water boy can stay in the water, I don't really need him now, but we can see the difference between the two greys here. This one is dry wasteland and this one is wet wasteland. Now with the wet wasteland I can use forest man to make forest. And when I move it like this you see it highlights some patches of the floor that it can change to forest. And it perfectly fits into this wet wasteland here. So let's do it that way. Nope, I misclicked and now he's just moving here. Forest, please. Magic. Forest. And just changing the land like this is still actually not really going to do anything for uh, your game. You won't get a village just by having the land there. You actually need some uh, materials on the land. 
So if we look at the uh, bar here for the forest man, the first one here is a fruit plant and it makes food. And I think it's swamp man, swamp boy. <laughs> yeah, he also has plants, but these ones give technology. Now I'm going to use the uh, fruit plant and there is a reason for doing that. Sorry, no, I don't want to make more forest. I want to make a fruit plant. So if I click this and I put it over here. Let him ground shakingly move over there. Here we go. He's going to make a plant and we get five food resources here. If I click on it, it is a blueberry bush. It has a symbiosis and you learn about this in the tutorial. I'm not going to cover that too much. There we go. Maybe you saw the man and his donkey, but a tribe has settled. Here we go. So what will often happen with a tribe is after a short amount of time, uh, a building will pop up and this will be the project that the village wants you to complete. If you complete the project, then you will get an ambassador from this village. And there we go, it, it started already, the granary challenge. So if I click on this, it will take me to the building. So the granary is being, is being built, being built <laughs> for peaceful farmers and gatherers. And the objectives for it to finish is that this village needs to be consuming or using 30 food. This is 5 out of 20. That means 5 is being used, but it will slowly move up to 20. And there's a bonus from the granary, which is that for every plant within the borders, so this is the end of the border here, and because there's ocean here, uh, actually we can see the end of the borders here, they will, as the village grows, the borders will expand and eventually, I guess, will uh, settle on the ocean here as boys. This way, uh, it's just forest. So, for this to finish, they need to be using 30 food. Uh, because we already have a plant, one plant, which gives 5 food, and the bonus from this for having the plant within the borders of 15, the total is now 20. Now one of the other important mechanics for this game is greed. And the way greed works is basically if you... Uh, inc the it's the difference, sorry, mathematically. It's the difference between this number here, 20, and this number here, 11. If these two numbers are greater, if the difference between them is greater than 20, just without anything else, then there's a chance that greed will increase. And as greed increases, there are chances that the village will want to attack other villages, if you have them, or even they might, I mean, it says here, if, if you look at where I'm uh, mousing over, this village respects the giants, but actually that can change. If that changes too that they don't respect the giants, then their little army will chase your giants around trying to attack them. Of course, is being giant is very easy as, say, a uh, huge mountain man to use your earthquake ability and pummel the ground wherever the uh, village army is, or even just on the village itself to totally destroy it. Um, <laughs> but if you spend a lot of your precious time building this village, you probably don't want to destroy it. Just moving the, uh, or having the army chase you outside of the village bounds and then destroying the army as far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything, so that is one potential solution. And if you reduce the resources they have, uh, their greed can go down and they can start respecting the giants again. So this can change, it's not a permanent change. Now because there's only a difference of four here, I would say it's fairly safe for me to plant some more plants. <laughs> plant some more plants. So this will give me a, a 15 bones for any plant. So I could place another food bush, which actually is probably maybe the best choice. Or I could place a uh, money bush, let's call it. It's called a herb, but <laughs> no, it's not money, it makes tech. I could place a uh, tech bush if I wanted, but I'm just going to place another blueberry bush, I think. And it will give me an extra 10 if it's next to an apple tree, a dandelion, or a strawberry and the possible transmutations, and you can really read this as kind of like uh, upgrades. So actually the blueberry bush can be upgraded into strawberries, or it can be upgraded into an apple tree, which is both of these. So no matter which way I upgrade this blueberry bush, um, any other blueberry bushes next to it will still be able to utilize this bonus. Let's put another berry bush down here just so that it's not wasting time in, uh, increasing. Okay, the difference is now 20. I waited until it was only one 
below the maximum and planted uh, this bush and still the difference is, is 20 which is not quite enough to increase greed if I planted and the cooldown on, on these uh, fruit plants is low enough that I could place another one immediately here almost and that would kick it up another 20 which in which case would make the villagers a little bit greedy and I'll show you what I mean let's place a uh, another blueberry bush here you can watch the face yep there we go now it's 25 out of 60 and if we look at the arrows here it says uh, growing irresponsibly fast because it's more than 20 that's this little resource here it says each all allows the village to grow a bit faster without increasing greed if the difference between a resource and the resource in use is smaller than 20 plus ore so even without any twen any ore the the baseline is 20 you can grow a difference of 20 resource without increasing greed now the difference is greater than that you can actually see that the uh, little smiley face here has changed a little bit and there we go there's the first point of greed you know one point isn't going to destroy what you're doing but you know as it adds up there are potentially uh, more problems now because I have placed so much food or so much food is being utilized I think we only needed 30 for this uh, project to finish it's finished we have 39 now and so there is a forest ambassador here now depending on which giant I choose to pick him up will uh, unlock an extra ability so we can see here this one fruit aspect unlocks with a forest ambassador if I click on the blueberries here the strawberry says here transmutes with a lesser leaf aspect or better and the apple tree transmutes it with a lesser fruit aspect or better now the forest man actually comes with the leaf aspect for free so I can cast this right now cast when you know, magic whatever I can use this on my blueberry bush here right now and I can uh, upgrade it to a strawberry because the ability is already there and because strawberries benefit from being next to other strawberries I have two blueberry bushes here if I upgrade them both to strawberries then they will you know give a much higher bonus so let's see what the difference is we have 60 maximum food now if I cast this on the uh, blueberry bush just casting it doesn't make it upgrade actually just casting it causes this little aspect screen here to do something and now where there was no aspect I have a potent leaf aspect which actually only has a you can see here 33% chance to happen so there is some level of randomness involved but just this aspect being here gives plus 4 tech and plus 2 natura and we can see that here plus 4 technology for doing nothing I didn't even choose to upgrade the blueberry bush yet but I can if I just click here and there we go now it changes into strawberries and because I changed this one into strawberries this blueberry bush here is now utilizing this plus 10 food bonus it changed from 5 to 15 so that's just upgrading one strawberry and we changed from 60 food to 73 so that's, that's a total of 30 plus 13 food which is a pretty decent change now if I click on the strawberries again and I look at what their symbiosis is they get plus three food if next to a blueberry oh look they are next to a blueberry or next to a strawberry and plus five or if next to a dandelion or strawberry so blueberries and strawberries you know they are great to go together or just all strawberries is maybe even better there's a little less food involved I think if you choose to go purely strawberries but strawberries being next to each other will give you plus five or which is this one is connected to how many resources you can uh, have growing without the village getting greedy so if you plant a few strawberries you can have a difference let's say you have four strawberries you can have say a difference of 30 resources rather than just 20 without the village gaining in greed which depending on how fast you want the village to grow and depending on what projects they have because some projects can give huge bonuses to the resources you get and if you use those bonuses too quickly you know your village can get out of control with their greed so sometimes it's better to take it a little slower so let's upgrade this next strawberry bush blueberry bush into strawberries here we go now it gets the <laughs> 
Oh wow, what are the odds of that? So this one also got a potent aspect, again with the 33% chance, that's, that's quite lucky for me. And I can now also upgrade it into strawberries. And if we watch how the two numbers here change, they are 8 and 15 at the moment. Change this one to strawberries, just 8 and 8. But we do also now get the 5 ore, which is a unique resource that can sometimes be a little bit difficult to get. Clicking on my village now, my ore is 10. 5 from this strawberry and 5 from this strawberry. So actually I have 30. I can utilize a difference of 30 in the resources if I want that kind of growth. Cool. I planted some plants. Uh, I have some blueberries and strawberries. I finished my first project. What do I do next? Well, if I remember correctly, the... Sorry, just ignore that. If I remember correctly, the challenge was 150 or 250 prosperity using only plants. What does prosperity mean? Prosperity is actually just the sum of the numbers here. So at the moment I've got 66 and 6, which makes 72 prosperity. So these are rookie numbers. I'm going to have to pump these numbers up. And I can do that with plants. So I'm going to plant some more plants. Let's put blueberries next to each other. Maybe... If I put a blueberry here, and a blueberry here, and a strawberry here, I can utilize two bonuses from blueberries. So let's try that one. Let's put this one, put, change this one into a strawberry. And then this one should jump up 10 food. Boom, just like that. And now it's going up again. And once this cools down, I'll plant another blueberry bush next to the strawberries. And that will also give me an extra 15 food. Bingo. Now as these numbers go up and as time progresses, the, the village borders will expand. They will move from being here to then here to then here and so on. And you can see here they've already progressed to the shoreline and they will continue on from there. Now actually you can't only place animals on the land. Actually I don't remember this being even mentioned in the tutorial, but you can also place um, animals in the ocean. Why am I talking about animals? Because I confuse them with plants. <laughs> you can't actually place any plants in the ocean. You can place animals. I don't want to place them too close to this village because I don't want to uh, affect the achievement where you, know, you get prosperity using only plants. But if I take Waterboy here, take him to the other side of the ocean, and I place some domestic animals, let's say, on this tile here. Fish macro in fact and you can upgrade these ones just the same way using different upgrades from the different uh, giants lovely now because I'm going to be utilizing a lot of plants here it probably and these plants are food plants or a lot of them upgrade with the fruit aspect fortunately the fruit aspect can be got from a forest ambassador which I have right here so if I just right click on the ambassador he'll pick him up Bingo Bango. And now I can also use the fruit aspect to transmute some plants and upgrade them to get some more resources. What's also happened here is this project, the granary, has upgraded now instead to a mill. And so the mill has two objectives to fulfill to complete its construction. One is 100 food in use. <laughs> I've got a maximum of 99, so I'm not too far away. And the other one is technology in use 10. Sorry, 40. <laughs> I already have 10 in use. I need to increase that by 30. The bonus is here. Well, we already are using this bonus with for the plants, but this one says that it will give plus 35 food if I have deer or wizened within the borders. Now, that's not really very useful for me because... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to use any animals, I'm trying to get the achievement by only using plants. So that's not really the best uh, construction project for me. But I'll see if I can uh, finish it anyway using some of the plants from the Swamp Boy. <laughs> swamp plants? Herbs. They're called herbs. They are called herbs and they give technology. Let's have a look-see. Let's move him over here and throw some herbs down on this uh, empty tile and see what pops up.
so what's this? This is a dandelion. Okay, that's nice. And dandelion will give an extra plus 8 tech. So we have 13 here, so I guess it starts with a base of 5. If it's next to a plant, and well, look at that, it's next to a blueberry bush. So it's actually providing 13 technology, which is pretty good. Its potential upgrades are, well, it can also change into a strawberry, or it can change into nightshade. And that will give that will also give tech, but its symbiosis works with minerals, not with plants. So maybe that's not the best choice for uh, this village because I'm trying to only use plants. I do have an extra empty tile over here, so I'll place another plant for another plus 13 technology, and that will take me up to 36 and 99. I need <laughs> I need 140 so I'm just a little bit short of fulfilling the requirements to finish this construction and when this construction is finished or it's called a project not a construction they will then give another forest ambassador for me to use um, which will unlock a reaction aspect on my swamp man uh, it will unlock a exotic aspect on my rock boy or uh, ocean boy water boy he gets crystal aspects so not so much I can use that crystal is for minerals uh, let's see exotic is for animals that give wealth that's not really something I can utilize at least in this village and swamp man swamp boy if I can click on him what the, what is it? It's uh, reaction aspects. This is also for minerals. So another forest ambassador is not really going to help me achieve much. Anyway, it's just a video for help. So if I wait until my borders expand a little bit more, I will then be able to get some more food or technology. <laughs> Actually, uh, I would really like a plant that can give technology and food just a little bit more and it looks like the, the strawberries are doing that they give a little bit of technology which comes from their potent leaf aspect so if I plant one more food food plant and then I use the uh, leaf aspect on it which adds technology I should go up to it would how much uh, how much technology does it add? Sorry, let's see. A potent leaf aspect will add four, so I guess a lesser leaf aspect might add two. Yeah, that's correct. So I need four, so I could actually just use leaf aspects on these blueberry bushes, which will unlock the upgrade, but I don't have to uh, choose the upgrade. So let, let's see. Leaf aspect on this bush. Yep, there's the plus two up to 38. And then also on this one, plus two up to 40 okay great so now I'm only looking to gain one food and I think the fruit aspect similar to the leaf aspect does add resources it adds food so if I find a plant that has a spare aspect slot like this dandelion and I give it the uh, fruit aspect even if it can't use it to upgrade we can see here this one requires toxic this one requires growth it will still benefit from the extra food and I only need one one more food in use to finish this construction of which I have nine minutes remaining so let, let's just try that. let's put the uh, fruit aspect onto the dandelion here and there we go now it's, it's actually gone up by three food so I have a maximum of 102 food and 40 technology if I just wait a little bit they will eventually be using all of this and it will complete the objectives the only small problem here is that the greater the difference between maximum and currently in use the faster it will grow so that means once you get to 37 it's growing a bit slower than 36 37 grows slower than 36 38 grows slower than 37 and, and, and so on like this so if I can up this number 40 to maybe 45 or 50 I will actually be able to achieve these objectives a little bit faster but to be honest with eight minutes left I am fairly certain that it will still complete the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is making you sit here and watch as uh, <laughs> that happens 
I can't think of another way to increase the uh, technology only with plants. Oh, no, I just thought of one because there's another free aspect slot here. So if I bring him over and I cast another leaf aspect, well this requires a fruit aspect, more food and ore if it's a pear tree. Hmm, okay, that sounds nice. Do I have fruit? I do. Will it be potent? Potent fruit aspect. Survey says... Yes, wow, that is incredibly lucky. I can't believe the luck that is happening here. Okay, anyway, so if I uh, upgrade this, I hope it uh, actually increases my food. It is next to plants. Let's see, 107, 13... Mm, okay, so a total difference of 4 because uh, the strawberry next to it lost the benefits of being next to another strawberry. So, you know, you have to bear in mind these symbioses. Sometimes they have a, a great benefit with what they are next to currently, and if you upgrade it, they might lose that bonus. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> he did get the... That's the fruit aspect. I wanted leaf aspect for the technology. Let's see, leaf. Also give him leaf. There we go. And now it's up to 42. Actually, it just reached 40 anyway. And the mill is complete. I'm not using any... Uh, animals but uh, so I can't really use that bonus it's not a good bonus for me with what I'm trying to do I have another forest ambassador um, I would like to put it onto my forest man but one of the limitations in this game is that once you put one ambassador onto one of your giants all your other giants have to have one ambassador as well before you can put the second ambassador onto a giant that already has one so he has one, that means Swamp, Ocean, and Rock also have to have one Ambassador before I can put the second Ambassador onto my uh, Forest Man here. Time remaining, wow, look at that, time flies when you're having fun, huh? So there's only about five or six minutes left before this run ends. Uh, I do have over 150 prosperity, but if I remember correctly, the achievement was for 250. So perhaps that achievement I is best suited for you know a 60-minute error rather than a 30-minute error. But once you've played the 30-minute error successfully, the 60-minute is, is unlocked. So you get more time with which to build your village and for your villages to expand with which you can place more resources, try to combine more symbioses to get more bonuses. Hopefully utilize the, the project that your village gets, but one thing to remember is that if you get a really bad project that you don't like and you really don't want to use, you don't have to complete it. If you just wait for the time limit to go down and you don't meet the objectives, the project will stop and it will go away and after some time they will start a project again which will be random however you might get the same project again that's the nature of it being random so you have to keep that in mind I still haven't gained another uh, tile here, no sorry I'm wrong I gained an ocean tile but because I can't place uh, plants in the ocean what am I to do? I can place animals in the ocean but I'm just trying to do a plant based run here now, one thing I can do is, if I instead take my water boy over here, and let's say I make, uh, let's make another ocean here. What am I up to? Well, this is, uh, this is some landscaping. So, once you put an ocean in, it, it, it's there. But, Rockman here is particularly adept at pulling the land up where uh, water boy punches it down. So if I bring him over here and I ask him to raise a mountain in the ocean... Yes, please raise me a mountain. Let's see what happens. The ocean goes away. <laughs> uh, the land over here is replaced <laughs> with desert, which isn't really what I was aiming for, but what I didn't account for here was that by removing the ocean here, this land over here is not wet anymore and so uh, inhabited dry wasteland near a mountain becomes desert and that's what's happened here if I take my water boy over here back over here as fast as his small legs will scurry him 
and I place, let's say, uh, another ocean here, that should either change the desert itself, or I will then be able to use the forest man to change the terrain myself. So w once you've made the terrain, what I'm trying to show here is that once you've made the terrain, it doesn't have to stay that way. You know, you can change it anytime you like. If you want a uh, forest town to have some swamp tiles, you can do that. Just place the swamp a little bit away from the town, and it will cover you know as many tiles as you want to be able to utilize the different plants, animals, or minerals that you can get in a swamp town. So let's see what happens here. Punch the ground, make some water, and it turns back to forest just like that. Wonderful. However, one of the issues here <laughs> is that all of my plants have been destroyed in the resulting uh, global warming and catastrophic uh, weather. So if I quickly place some more fruit plants, well, I say quickly, but as soon as you place one, you have a uh, cooldown before you can place another. So actually, I will have to wait. I can, however, utilize a different uh, giant to place a different kind of plant. What does he benefit from? He benefits from strawberries. So actually, I want another fruit plant, another fruit plant, maybe some herb here. This one's almost ready. I can upgrade though, let's see. I don't think I want to upgrade this one. But it can still benefit from the aspect. Remember, the aspect will still give some bonuses to the plant. There we go. And this one would be a strawberry with lesser leaf. There's the leaf. Make some strawberries. Yep, there we go. Ding. Bingo bango. Back to utilizing the bonuses, the three bonuses for 45 food here, which we can see. You can see that the, the numbers under the village here, the resources they were using, dropped drastically when the uh, desert somehow consumed the left side of their village. But uh, that's the nature of trying to show and explain different things. It's okay. Two oceans now, either side. Okay, there we go. There's another blueberry bush next to the strawberries, next to the blueberries, and this one next to the blueberries for the extra tech. Back up to 88 and 32. Plenty of land over here now to use as well. This was ocean just before. Now plenty of forest, and even if it expands even more than that, I can use it. <laughs> Gotta be careful though. If I want to change this one again back into forest, maybe I need to place another ocean over here first. Now what I'm seeing here is that there's only maybe 20 seconds left. Actually, it's more like 1 minute and 20 seconds. Once you reach the end of the time, you still have 1 minute with which to you know, add some finishing touches to your uh, kingdom before the game ends, but before the era ends. And once that's done, then you'll be able to get some of the achievements that you've been looking to get. So, let's see. What time? 0 seconds and boom, there we go. Within however many seconds, all giants will be asleep. And j just at this time is when uh, the village decided they want to start their third project, which we can see has a ridiculously high food objective, which actually, you know, once the, once the borders expand, it's not that hard to achieve if you utilize all the bonuses, you know, especially here. For each animal within borders, okay, sorry, plus 75 food and 25 tech for each wolf and wizent within borders. Now, how you get those animals is, you know, it can be a little bit complicated, but you can look on the uh, wiki page to see which things make which. Oh, look at these guys taking a nap now. What's the time? 10 seconds left. All right, well, uh, they're taking a nap. Only water boy is still awake. Here, build another... Put another ocean water boy before you go to sleep. Nope. He decided. <laughs> he just said nope. Time to go. Time to go to bed. So actually, I finished a uh, forest village with a hundred village prosperity, and uh, if it was my first time getting this achievement, it would unlock something. It's not my first time, so. I don't get anything, it just tells me I achieved it. And I also did this achievement for completing an upgraded project, which was the mill, which required both food and technology. So once I uh, finish the game here, that's it, it goes away, it's all done, everything's forgotten. But now, when I start a new game, if this was my first 30 minute error, I'll now be able to do 60 minutes. And once you do a 60 minute error successfully, you will then be have access to the 120 minute error. So that's a uh, 
short little video guide on uh, utilizing some of the mechanics in this nice interesting indie game I hope that's of some help to you in some way thanks for watching and come back next time